Good morning. This is Dallas Sports 1977. Our subject of the day is the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And uh, we're coming to you about um, what took so long for the uh, NFL to put Drew Pearson in the Hall of Fame. He has the, he might not have all of the quite of great numbers, but he was a great wide receiver. The first uh, Hail Mary receiver back in 1975 when Roger Starbuck threw a 50-yard touchdown pass to him against the Minnesota Vikings, against the Purple People Eaters back in the 1970s. He deserved to be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, about uh, the beginning of this year, he was snubbed by the NFL. And it, and it and it, as a Dallas Cowboy fan, it hurt me and other fans too. He's quite deserving and other Dallas Cowboys are quite deserving. I would say that would be Harvey Martin, the great number 79 on the Doomsday Defense too. Uh, fullback Robert Newhouse. When we get back to Drew Pearson, he is a great person on and off the field, a great ambassador for the Dallas Cowboys, and I'm excited, and you should be excited too, about what's happening right now with the NFL. They, The NFL, uh, the subject is the NFL fumble the football, and fumble the football means when, when, so, when, you, when I hand the ball off to an individual like I'm in the huddle, and, I, and the running back has the ball, and he get hit, and he don't proceed. He, he, he touches the ball with both hands and don't uh, firmly put it tucked away, and he loses control of it, and the ball is rolling around on the ground, and someone else is recovering, and then it's considered as a fumble. That's what the NFL has done today. They fumble back. Uh, they they have fumble. They threw an interception, and they fumble in this situation, and it needs to stop. I'm happy about it, and I'm so happy that my Dallas Cowboys is headed up upward. But I want Drew Pearson to be put in the Hall of Fame. He deserved to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame with all of the other greats of the NFL. He was a two-time all-decade team in the 70s and the 80s, and he played on the. Uh, he played in. He played in Super Bowl ten against the Pittsburgh Steelers which they lost, Dallas should have won that game. Then they Super Bowl twelve, which Dallas beat the Denver Broncos 27-10. Then he played the very next year against the Pittsburgh Steelers again. Dallas lost 31-35 against the Pittsburgh Steelers down in Miami uh, Hurricane Stadium in, uh, in, in uh, Miami, Florida. We're, but we're coming to you to, to ask you for your opinions and what you think about this subject of the day. Has the NFL really dropped the ball uh, I'm not being biased because I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan, but us Dallas Cowboy fans, we, uh, we, we you might think that we are delusional. Uh, we always, every year, we always expect out the greatness from our team. This team was built by greatness, by the great Tom Landry, and he built this team with respect uh, as a man of God and a great leader to form this team as America's team. And as a Dallas Cowboy fan, we represent this team to the fullest with uh, everything about this team. And Drew Pearson is that type of person. When we had a draft last year, when he had a draft and he was uh, on stage and, they, and he was representing one of the football players to be drafted and, and he was being booed, that let you know what type of great man this man is. He's a great ambassador for our team, a great leader, great father. And, uh, and, I, and I'm proud and happy for, for what he deserved and the other great ones too. Dallas Cowboys, keep going forward. Let's go get this Super Bowl championship. I'm expecting a 12 and 4 record this year. Uh, no less than 11 and 5 record. And I'm expecting us to make it to the Super Bowl. You be blessed. America, be safe. Put God first in your life. And we thank you. Have a great day.